Hi guys and welcome to Studio Knit. Today, as part of my summer knit series, we are going to knit a house, a birdhouse. It is so vibrant and cozy. The perfect new home for your favorite neighborhood birds. This is also a great summertime gift for a friend. The materials we will use are yarn in any colors of your choice. I recommend acrylic yarn, which holds its shape and color the best outdoors. Knitting needles, scissors, a tapestry needle, oh, and of course, a birdhouse. I found my wooden birdhouse at Michael's. It was on sale for only a dollar. Michael's carries lots of cute shapes and variations of birdhouses in the store and online. I'll put a link in the description below. We will first knit up the panels for each side of our birdhouse, including the roof. I thought it would be fun to knit in different colors and knitting stitches. This is where you can really let your creativity soar. I will include information on the knitting stitches that I used in the description below. Oh, and if you think knitting up your own unique birdhouse would be fun, please hit like. This lets me know that you would enjoy seeing more fun ideas like this. So, I figured out we can create our birdhouse by simply knitting all the panels together. There is absolutely no need for glue or any adhesive. And this way, you can always reuse your birdhouse if you're in the mood to redesign it. I'm first attaching the side panels of our birdhouse by simply tacking them together with yarn, and I'm using my tapestry needle. These were knitted in the bamboo stitch. Next, I'm adding the back to our birdhouse by attaching it to our sides. I knitted up this panel in the basket stitch. Now we can add our roof. It was knitted in the star stitch. Adding the roof allows us to bring that top triangle piece up and attach those pieces together. The front panel is fittingly knitted in the seed stitch. Make sure to check out my videos on how to knit the seed stitch as well as our roof's star stitch. I'm just going to stretch my knitted piece so that that little landing stick can pop out. So the top triangle and this opening area presented a bit of a tricky situation. So I decided to knit up some eye cords and I'm fitting them into the area in a fun, swirly way. Then I just connect it by tacking it together using yarn and my tapestry needle. Pretty unique. Lastly, I am going to add a sweet, bright white edge to the bottom of our birdhouse. Awesome! You have just learned how to knit your very own birdhouse. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. When you subscribe, you will receive a new knitting lesson every Monday. And check out my other videos. Here are some of the knitting stitches that I used for our birdhouse. And I think you will also enjoy my videos on how to yarn bomb marquee letters and also how to knit a bird's nest. It helps rehabilitate abandoned birds. So sweet. Bye.